showtime. I like having fun. I like to laugh. I like to meet Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the program we call Office Hours Live. It is Tim Heidecker here. It is March 7th. 10 a.m. on the West Coast, coming to you live from beautiful, crisp, sunny, and wet. What? Something can be sunny and wet. That's a riddle we'll play today. What is that? What is that? Pretty what? simple. What? Sunny and wet. Sunny huh. and wet. So well, it could be a rainbow. It rained, ED, past tense. So we had tremendous rain yesterday, and now we have beautiful sunshine, and it is a glorious part of the world to live in. I'm so grateful and blessed to share uh, my morning with you. <laughs> uh, I'm welcoming back to the Office Hours studio is the number one uh, man in the world. My friend, <laughs> and one of the great gentlemen, one of the great creative minds of our generation. He is turning 58 tomorrow. Uh, one. 51. 51. Is that 51? 51. 51. 50. It's not far off. <laughs> Imagine you 60. We shouldn't be celebrating I know, you don't like your birthday. But listen, anymore. DJ Doug Pound in the house, back from Down Under. Good morning. And now you're fresh back. Fresh back. Yes, sir. How are you feeling? It's great to be back. Yeah. <laughs> and it was a good trip? It was a great trip. I got you guys some presents. I will open them with ver uh, voracious... Excitement. Well, there's nothing to open, but... No? Okay. Do you want to present them now, or should I introduce uh, the show and get into it? Well, we'll nice. stick around for presents from Doug. <laughs> presents anytime. It's a lot uh, of presents. VB4 is here. He's I'm not. Here. I don't think he's left since last week. I think <laughs> he's you, still here. Cha we, we, you brought a change of clothes. Are you I living here, down here now? No, it's the same thing I wore last week. What's sip, everybody? <laughs> oh, override oh, your sipping. That? Yes. Captain Carlin he is here, and in the Hello. studio... What's your th new thing? It just said hello. Oh, I, you, I think your new, thing should be, your new thing should be, huh, huh. Uh, in the studio with us. Later, we're going to have uh, Ty Siegel. Hello. Huh. Huh. <laughs> what is it good for? Absolutely <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Sing it again. John Again. No, um... <laughs> Much to my chagrin, Pauline Lucenhoff is here. Oh, 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 oh. No. We love Pauline, Doug's mummy. 58 years, 50, sorry, 51 years ago. Uh, 51, 51. You were deep in labor. Oh, he deep, was a big baby. He was baby. ready to get oh up. Oh my God. Big what, baby. Why am I, my, my uh, audio just got much louder. Is that, is, am I losing it? Love you. Call in if you think I'm losing it. <laughs> Vic Berger the third, Vic Berger the third is on Zoom. Vic Berger the third, am I losing it? That's the question for the day. Let's check in with him. Can you unmute? Definitely. All right. Thank you very much. We'll check, we'll check in with you later. It's only a. It's only a. What the hell is going on with his connection? Sound? Get him out of here. Get a new microphone. Come on. All right. Bye bye. Oh, high quality no, no. operation. We'll, we'll check in with you later. Wait, that's not him. That's okay. something else. Oh, that's I think not it is him. him. No. Oh, well, it's mute, oh, mute Dad, him immediately. What, oh, my God. <laughs> What's going awful. on, Dad? You got, like, Mr. Berger, you got to fix your audio. Something's going on. We're Go out and get a new computer. Crazy sounds. That was, there were like uh, cockroaches in my ear. It was like a locust invasion in my inner ear. That's the last time I check in with your dad. <laughs> and by the way, Gary. By the way, look at, look at me on PDB podcast. I know. By the way, did I talk about that last week? <laughs> no, no. Did I not? Yeah, yeah. I did. did. Oh, you did. Okay. By the way, by the way, <laughs> I'll, be, I'll do that PDB. By the way, um, Gary Lucenhop is here. Gary Lucenhop, uh, Vic's dad. I mean, uh, Doug's dad. By the way, he's here from Colorado. Colorado's interesting right now because they've got, uh, they just, uh, they, the Supreme Court uh, overturned by the way, they had the right to make that case. Am I right? But the Supreme Court decided, I don't know who this is anymore. Daddy, chill. Your court had it right. And then Do you want me to jump shits. on camera and talk about my favorite candidate? Oh, oh this goodness. lunatic. That you play that, find that clip of that mental, <laughs> men, mental midget having a, oh, uh, yeah. a synapse break. Daddy this Trump that 
Pauly and Lucy have. I have. You get into your mom about it? this? We got huh? You want to Please watch it? Right, listen to this. Listen, listen to this guy. Russia, we'll repeat your oh shit, it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. We'll come back. He's the one that's not working. <laughs> 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 oh, you, she can't hear. She can't hear anything because you're refusing to oh. put headphones on. Oh, yeah, put headphones on. Okay. I don't even know I what that last one said. Start the show. Oh, the show's. No, it was my my video. Was oh, now I can hear. Yeah. That was Vic. Okay. Yeah, I have the video. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, I got yeah. it. Listen oh. to this guy. You ready? Here we go. I heard that Saudi Arabia and Russia will repeat your. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? And it's when in the history of when the history of Saudi Arabia and Russia will repeat your oh. <laughs> yeah? He's not doing well. Uh, and who, whoever, uh, who, this guy would be the first candidate that's got to play like John Williams Star Wars music under his speech. Uh, like, what's all that about? It's always music going crazy. It's crazy times, folks. I bad, bad stuff. But anyway, Pauline is here to promote her children's book. Yeah. YMCA. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And want, what else? Let me get a couple of bit orders of uh, business. Give it to me. Oh, let's yeah, let's uh, at least look at this the, book here a second. Pass it along. Pass Why, it. I, okay. Right, Tim, can you pass that over? No, no, we're not doing oh. the book right now. No. Okay. <laughs> not, <laughs> it's okay. I'll, I'll do the book now, and we'll get it over with. <laughs> the boy. The boy at well. This is this is not this is not one of these uh, Jeffrey Epstein kind of no, things, is it? No, no, no. The boy no. at Wells. This is this is some perverted stuff here, no, Paulie. Is it? The boy at no. Wells next to the sea. Next the sea. Not to, there's no two. Next the sea. It's a town in this England. This is a typo. No. The no. boy at Wells next to the sea. Okay. Uh, okay. You ex <laughs> Doug, are you okay with this? We're having fun here. Here, here's your book. <laughs> and we're gonna have everybody that belongs to the Office Hours community go ahead and pick this book up. Can you get it on Amazon? You can get it on Amazon, yeah. Read yeah. us, read us uh, the first page. Okay, all right. Is this your first, this is your first children's book? My first, I have another one coming out. Okay, so this, oh gosh, where is it? <laughs> Which chapter? I said just the first page. Okay, just so the chapter first one. Page. Okay, <laughs> chapter one. Look at the camera's not on me. I want to know why. I'm sick. Don't worry about what's there on the I camera. Am. You okay. let Wes worry about. Yeah, don't it. look at that okay. screen. That screen doesn't reflect okay, what's going ready? on. Okay, ready? Archie Watch lives in England, a very pretty town called Wells Next to Sea. The town was on the it north. Be Wells North Next Folk to the Coast, Sea, though, right? Mm -hmm. Oh. And was very busy from <laughs> June. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's my starring moment. All right, okay. I apologize. Okay, uh, it was a very busy town from June to September when the weather was suitable for renting caravans and visiting the beach. Very nice. The beach had small cabins the local people built to stay in while they were at the beach. Visitors from Europe and America would spend summer holidays renting cabins or caravans, which were like RVs mm -hmm. near the beach. So I won't read any more okay, because the, you're cutting me the, off anyway. No, no, that, <laughs> it's okay. that we, we've now, that's the, what we call in the business a tease. Now people okay. are gonna be like, I gotta, yeah, right, I gotta buy okay, that book to figure okay. out how this all wraps up. <laughs> okay, okay. No, no, so look up Pauline, we'll put a link. Put a link, yeah, yeah. it's on Amazon. I've sold two so far, so <laughs> I bought one and- uh, Rocketing up the- uh, Archie's mom. How do you who's go fulfilling about the these? How, uh, okay. Yeah, who's fulfilling these orders? Who's filling the orders? Who's fulfilling the orders, in other words? Amazon, I guess. Okay. Are there like- I don't know how it works. Storage of those? Do they print them on the go? As she they go? printed 10,000 uh, of them. They, so you oh, wow. Print them on the goal. I'm yeah. just kidding. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. okay. Well, let me get, get a couple of bit orders of business out of the way. Okay. Pauline, enjoy yourself. And anything you need, you let me know. Should I go now? No, no, you can no, stay. I can stay. Okay. Uh, and Gary, if you have any thoughts from a directorial standpoint or a producerial standpoint, please chime in. He can't hear you. Yes, I can. Oh, he can. Oh, he can. Oh, okay. I can always hear you talk. Oh, gee, easy oh. now, Lockhorns. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You the fucking Lockhorns are at it again. <laughs> now listen. Now listen. Remember when I used to do it? Now hear, now hear this. Uh, this weekend, big weekend, obviously the On Cinema Oscar special 11. This is coming Sunday night. I want to make very clear something. Uh, this was a nightmare this week. Yeah, you got your deck of cards hat merch on. Uh, 
the Oscars, these bastards, these rats, moved up the Oscars to, because they know when no one's watching and the, the, the only people that are watching are, God bless it, uh, the geriatric crowd. <laughs> <laughs> And they got to go to bed by nine o'clock. So. Well, we record it. So and that goes for me too, by the way. You mean they make, they're making them earlier now? You're not watching the yeah. woke Oscars anyways, no, are I'm you? Not. But anyways, folks, this caused panic on, on our world because we always do it at a certain time. Anyways, we're going, there was a little debate within the on-cinema community. I'm not going to name names, but said, no, this has got to be synced with the Oscars. So just put it in your calendars. On-cinema Oscar special 11 begins at what? 7 p.m. Eastern, I think. <laughs> but just look, just make sure you're making a note of what we're putting out there. If you're going to the, into the Alamo's doing a screening and all these theaters out there, my hometown is doing a screening, live screening, just make sure you check your times. I don't want people telling me, I didn't know it was going to be early. Is it when the red carpet happens or is it's it? It's when the Oscars begin. When Jimmy Kimmel time. comes out there and starts zinging oh, them. Oh, there we go. It's zing time. 4 p.m. this year. 4 p.m. Pacific, Matt. Pacific. 7 p.m. Eastern. And Central, who knows? That would be five. Yeah. <laughs> That's point one. And the, most of the show will be about numbers, by the way, so get your drops ready. Uh, the other thing I want to mention is Tim Fest in Portland, Oregon is up next weekend. So we're doing Oscar special this weekend. <laughs> Tim Fest next weekend. Okay. And those set times are very important to make, make note of. And I know we're speaking to a small sample of our crowd, because obviously about number, number one in the same city. But we, I want to just really quickly announce that if you're a VIP, and other, you can still upgrade to VIP, by the way. It's about number four. So those, yeah. that, those doors open at 1 p.m. The, the, the VP, VIP will be like from two to three around one. there. One, two, three. Three, 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 three p.m. is general doors, folks. Three. Four p.m. office hours. And then we have an hour. Uh, here's the th here's the thing to know, Matt. You you should explain I'm this better. Take a siesta, then you go home. You need to take, take we need siesta. to take a break. So we'll do office hours, good ninety minutes of this show. Then we'll do an hour break. You want to go and get something to eat? You wear a little wristband. You come back. If you want to bring a hoagie, bring a hoagie and sit there. <laughs> I don't know. I'm worried about people dying of starvation. Craft because beer if you're in Portland. Or then you, you come can't back. Bring a beer, right? Come back after the hour for Neil Hamburger, and then the very good band. Day two is the same deal, except we got on cinema starting at uh, four o'clock, and then there's the break, and then four. there's DJ Doug Pound. How long am I doing? Ten, five minutes at, no, at most. On. I can't have you do more than five, Doug. All right, I, it's I tight. Can do five. It's tight. It's, it's fine. No, I need you to do at least forty. I need everything you got. <laughs> Be happy Whatever you want to do, I'll do it all. Pauline, damn it! <laughs> wow. so, answer it. Wow. <laughs> Who is it? It's got to be Trump calling. Yeah. Pauline. Hello. You know, artist. Who is this? Will we be doing? Oh, Harv, I'm on a TV show right now. <laughs> I'm on Office Put hours. him on speaker, Harv. So, uh, put him on speaker for Yeah, get Harv on the this line. This is Doug's a high school, uh, uh, I don't know how to put it on speaker oh. phone. This is Doug's high school a science teacher calling. Oh, Are you calling to wish Doug a happy birthday, Harv? Can you hear him? It's, it's on my hearing it, aid. Oh, it's on your hearing. I can do it's that. A, Give me your phone. Oh, here, Give me okay. your phone. Harvey, you're going to be on the show here. Hang Hold on. Hold on a sec, Harvey. Okay. <laughs> I can do this. Look, watch how good I am at this. I can do no, this. don't call Hello. us back. Don't call Hello, us back. Harvey. Can you hear Hi. Tim? Is this Doug? No, this is Tim Heidecker, but Doug's in, within earshot. You want to speak to Doug? Well, just to wish him a happy birthday. All right. The message has been delivered. Doug, do you have anything to say to your old high school uh, science teacher? Thanks, Mr. Hisgin. Thanks for taking me on that Appalachian Trail trip back in high school. Did you catch that? Yeah, I am his science teacher, along with his sisters. So you're his sister as well? <laughs> as well. <laughs> I understand. So you, so you, despite the ten, the tone and tenor of your voice, you are in fact Doug's sister. <laughs> Is that what I'm uh, meant to believe? Okay. I, I, I was the science teacher to all three of them. All Doug's oh, I two see. sisters. Okay. Are you retired now, sir? Yes, since '99. And how are you spelling? How are you spending your retirement? 
I am president of the Pike National His International Historic Trail Association. He'll oh, talk about well, look it. At you. And we're Cut working off. on Pike <laughs> okay. days in something like 300 different counties. <laughs> Pike days? What is this? Yeah, is that like a, a fish? He's going to talk so forever. People, you in particular know about General Zebulon Montgomery Pike. He's going to talk Pike. forever. <laughs> He's going to talk forever. General Zebulon uh, Pike. Yeah, Montgomery Zebulon Pike. Pike. Yeah, of course. Oh, oh, Pike's, oh, Peak. Yeah. Pike's Peak. Yes, it okay, sounds vaguely okay. familiar. Okay. Where can people <laughs> learn more about the uh, Pike Association? Well, we're trying to let people know about General Pike. <laughs> people <laughs> say that he did more for this country than and Lewis, Lewis and Clark, Clark ever thought of Bullshit. Oh. Doing. <laughs> Bullshit. What the hell is going on here? Is this another one of your scams? Get my phone back. All right, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. All right, Mr. Okay. Slizmick. What is your name again? Mr. Hisgin. Mr. Hisgin. Okay. Hisgin. Bye, right. bye. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, we're going to sign you up for a patrons only snooze cast uh, for you to talk all about <laughs> okay. General okay. Pike, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> You don't like this guy. Well, he's calling you and... Well, he'll talk forever about the Pike Trail. <laughs> what is he's this Pike, General Pike? Yeah, he's been working on it for 15 years. I wrote my book in three <laughs> months. <laughs> and that fucking Wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. Whoa! <laughs> 15 wait a minute. years. I'm, le I'm learning about this, uh, this Albert Pike. Is this no, uh, General Pike? Listen Albert to this. Pike. Admiral Pike was an American author, poet, orator, editor... And Confederate State Army oh, General. What are you doing no. with this? This is a Confederate. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I don't know if that's What is this it. symbol is on his I don't know if that's the same Pike. pike. That's a different Pike. That's, that's, that's a different pike. pike. Zebulon Pike. Oh, Zebulon. Zebulon Montgomery. Zebulon. Yeah, I don't want to hear about Zebulon either, believe me. <laughs> 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 he had something to do with those olives. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> All right, can I just get the show back on Definitely the rails? Definitely answer the next call that comes in, because that was... That was a good, uh, good call. Yeah. That was a good call, yeah. It was great to hear from him. Yeah. I haven't spoken to him Definitely in 30 keep years. Your, wow. Why is he calling? Is he calling you to wish Doug a happy birthday? That's. Oh, he oh. probably called me to uh, invite me to one of the Zebulon Pike meetings or something. Oh. You know. Is that there him? There he is. That's There's Zebulon I like that. Pike. Now, yeah. that's my uh. kind of Pike. Uh. But uh, I, I like David G. Farragut. Easy. David G. Farragut. <laughs> Damn the torpedoes, full speed ahead. There you go. She taught my at next, Farragut High School. My next Easy. book. My next book. <laughs> my next book. Okay. Is it about David? It's about it's about Farragut High School. Easy. Okay. All right. That's Look. A lot of stuff here. Here I am. Look, Doug's got you a lot of, you, you, Doug's let's got let's a lot get her with the opposite of coffee is, please. Okay. <clears throat> uh, a couple of things. <laughs> I'm on no sleep. I have to tell you. That's right. Yeah. I told Vic this. Yeah. Why are you on no sleep? I'll tell you. I, well, first of all, I had big celebrity dinner last night. Ooh. And we can play guests at the dinner if you want. I don't know. It it's not that big a deal. I was you told brewery. us already. Or is there well, another celebrity true. involved? The huh? audience doesn't know. I don't oh. care. I don't want to be bragging. You know, it was a very nice dinner, but it was Indian food. Okay? Which I love. And I was telling my wife that, because we were together on this date, double date, I said, this is tr tremendous for us because we never get to eat Indian food because the kids don't touch the stuff. Right, yeah. And so when we get a chance to go out, we get some very good Indian food. Corn. And that's not corn. Now, there's not very little <laughs> corn in the Indian diet, okay, as far as I know. Corn. <laughs> I'm not talking about that kind of Indian, you nut, numbskull. Why you? That's, it's called corn. Why I oughta? What do you mean? <laughs> I don't Where's have the slap? That. Okay. I have. Oh, sh I don't the have goddamn that. slaps to be ready to go. Okay. Ready? Why you? <laughs> no. So, anyways, the food was great, but at the end, the guy, uh, the the server brings out <sighs> oh, I chai know latte. Oh, I think yeah, chai little latte. dessert drink, and I drink the shit out of that. And then I go to bed, and like two hours later, I'm up, mind racing. You got to get the latte, the mango lassi. I know. Mm. I thought you were gonna say they brought out a butterfly like Tom Segura and. Uh... <laughs> Bert Kreischer. A what? They go to these fancy restaurants and they, they freeze dry uh, butterflies and then they just eat the oh, butterfly. Like pretty monarchs. That. Like 
Oh. What's the point? Because they're they got money to spend. I guess they're not gonna have that much money for that much longer. Well, no, it's, opinion, it's, it's from dipping, what I've been researching. Hey, Tim, you want any pizza? I was up. Hey, Tim, I was up all night. Pizza? I couldn't sleep. So what were you tossing were you and watching? turning? Or did you just give up and? I watched. Things? What I did is I put on this YouTube. It was it was really funny. It was I maybe shouldn't have listened to this because it was funny to me and it was keeping me it was yeah, keeping my blood flowing. Engaged. But it was. Um, Found these old uh, compilation of Terrence McKenna on Art Bell. Oh. Does that mean anything to anybody? Yes. Terrence of McKenna on Art Bell. Terrence McKenna is this um, psychedelic preacher about what the power of the transcendental meditation of uh, using DMT and contacting foreign, you know, like he's really into that stuff. And a lot of it's really cool, but here's what was funny about it, Doug. They are fucking tripping, son. This shit was from like the early 90s. Yeah. And he calls in. He's like, I have created this scientific model using my computers, and it's completely accurate. And I have created a time wave that predicts every significant moment in, in, in uh, the history of the universe. And if you go back, it's all the, the novelty events that happen. So all the, the times that, you know, like the great, uh, like all the innovations that happen. And, He's, able, he's like, I've created this whole thing, and guess what, folks? It ends on, the, on tw December 21st, 2012. <laughs> 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 and Art Bell's like, oh, two th you mean like the Mayan calendar, 2012, holy shit. Well, yes, and I have to say that's 100% accurate, and the world and everything will come to an end, and there'll be this singularity and all. They're going on and on about 2012. I'm like, oh, guys, if I had a time machine. A bad Have news a for you. Things kept trucking, unfortunately. <laughs> things kept put. Weren't you so excited for things to come finally to a close in the year 2012? <laughs> Remember that those good old days? Good Were you looking forward to the end, Vic? I mean, I always am. Close things down. Mm -hmm. But no, 2012 came and went. Where's my explosion like on Red Bar? I should do like <laughs> 2012 came and went. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure it worked, it? Vic got me in this. So yeah. I love I love Red Bar. And he's gonna love this. I think. He's gonna be very <laughs> but, excited. Uh, he, I have you. I have a candy bar for you if you want. Oh my <laughs> god! It's a double decker. <laughs> oh well, that's okay. Oh look at that. That's very sweet. Wow. Um, thank it's you. One of your many presents for today. No, but I was gonna talk about Red Bar for a sec because Vic, I think, is a is a getting addicted to Red Bar. I am. I am. It's, he's sending uh, me. He's sending us clips throughout the day. I know. Well, it's just like when I'm working, I take a break. I take a break and I watch Red Bar. And I have like seven tabs going up. Yeah. And I have their newest episode, but I was, I don't know. Well, he had crying. been gone for a while. Is that right? Yeah, he was sick for a while, yeah, yeah. but he's he's back in action. And, and then he did, I, I don't, I mean, game. folks, if you don't know the, if you don't know the show, I could kind of do an impression of him, <laughs> <laughs> which I, you know, it's respectful. Don't want to get on his bad side. No. <laughs> Fuck him. But fuck, but uh, it is I, you know there's a lot a lot of things that make me really laugh and when he gets deep into the the what do you call it sort of the the uh, weeds the, of the minutia yeah, yeah the day to day of some of these uh, the Tom Segura's and the Bert, Bert Kreischer's and shit <laughs> holy god is that he, funny he, he did a white underbelly oh yeah that yeah was, yeah that was good the, and he's the, zooming in on Tom Segura <laughs> and Bert Kreischer and he's pointing things out very entertaining <laughs> very well done Stephen Crowder he goes into the a yeah. black uh, uh, barber shop and but the barber has like band aids and like all these <laughs> sick, uh, like well, losing stuff yeah. and it's just like right by but then Vic Crowder's seems eyeball. to think I care well I do care and I appreciate it but he's 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 a big on cinema fan yeah. and you're like look he mentioned you Tim Tim. <laughs> Look, he mentioned Don Cinema. He mentioned Greg Turkington. I go, I don't, I know, and I, and I know how great I am. But here's, my, I know how good it is. Yes. I'm sh shocked that you know Wolf Blitzer isn't reporting on <laughs> on Cinema when a new episode comes out. Like, breaking news: a new episode of On Cinema has come out. It continues to uh, defy expectations to be single-handedly the funniest thing that has ever been created. So uh, all the all due respect to Red Bar, but of course. It's a, it should be a given, and all these creeps, Joe Rogan and everybody else. Mm. What's his name uh, the, with the mullet? Oh, it's Theo sub mental. Theo uh, Vaughn. Theo. Theo. Dream <laughs> Theo. I'm Bill Cosby. Yeah. Theo, get in here! I'm giving you a podcast, Theo. <laughs> You're know, gonna drag your hair along and speak to all the creeps in the world. RFK. I'm gonna have you on my show. 
and that big balloon, Tim Dillon and all these people. Oh my God, and slob. <laughs> and anyway, what's my point? People, I, I will tell you, you people love mind. Dylan. They, people that like you love Tim Dillon too, just so you know. I know. <laughs> but there's nothing much fun about know. that guy. Every time I, I see him talk, he's, he's now suddenly he's like a, some political analyst. Yeah, they, they go to him for, <laughs> for thoughts. And then also, then he's posting all these pictures of him like with private jets and shit. And oh, so and they're making so much money. Disgusting, but it's, it's going to go down. It's going to turn sour But soon. that's okay. And then there's Tony. What is this? And people oh, are Tony Hinch telling me about Tony God. Hinch. This whole world. It feels like I went to. I'm like Rip Van Winkle. Remember him? <laughs> Remember Rip Van Winkle? Son of a bitch goes to take a little nap. <laughs> he wakes up and suddenly the whole world's changed. And there's these creeps out there, these monster little monster men running the show. Somebody and, and they, they've got these submental fans out there chime in on my world. They go. Uh, Somebody says on, on, on my stand-up special, this is what happens when, this is on my stand-up special, which is, you know, clear what it is. This is what happens when a lib improv <laughs> tries stand-up. He would get booed off Kill Tony. Hollywood kills careers. <laughs> well, booed off, you should play some of that Kill, we have to use this, this oh, yeah. uh, interview that Kill Tony, this Tony Hinchcliffe uh, did where he's complaining about being canceled. Meanwhile, like, he got some huge development deals. I don't know what that means. If he got canceled, <laughs> is, he the, is he the one on the new show with uh, Shane Gill? Or no, that's I different. Yeah, oh, that's. But a, let, yeah. I mean, put, I, I, to I, be I, on the show that you do when you get canceled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Look at that. Who? Uh, I'm not. See now. Yeah. <laughs> Look well, at him. Yeah. Uh, you Old were canceled a while ago, that we haven't really talked much about it, and we were hanging out the other day, and it's something we really wanted to. Well, that's the last time you. these guys talk so for the next hour and a half. <laughs> Watch this. Well, I mean, this was in May of 2021, yeah, and I was doing was a very on routine on Thursday <laughs> workout <laughs> set. Uh, I mean, <laughs> very routine. Jen, what's your it's phone? It's called number? the Secret Show. I'm not giving. It's called no, that my phone number is three two three. Announced on the show. Wait a second, Mom. We're on a show right now. What are you doing? Who's Jen? Daughter? Three, two, three. Anyways, what's going on? <laughs> oh, she's trying to subvert. She thinks she's uh, being being subversive. Can I take a damn audience member instead of the Doug Science teacher? Can I get a Zoomer, Matt? I mean, I'm about to lose it. His sister called. Okay, sorry. Do you have any math teachers you're in touch with? I feel like we need a palate cleanser. How about a city of the day? Yeah, rant, what what rant did you teach? Over. What was your sorry? What did, what did you teach when you were a teacher? A uh, phys ed. Phys ed. Nice. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. That's why Doug's so athletic. Yeah, he doesn't you stop. You know how, how strong Doug is. That's why I made him join the gymnastics team. Oh yeah. If there's one guy I would never want to wrestle, too, it's Doug. Doug I did. I would be down for He's the good. count. He's strong. I was on the wrestling <laughs> team too in seventh grade, but I don't see a cauliflower that was here. Though. Scary. All yeah. right. Quit. Yeah, that's the, the coaches are demented. Yeah, Doug, yeah. I, is it true you're finding your way back into the show today? What are you talking about? <laughs> finding. I, I'm way worried back. that I'm 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 first of all I'm worried that I'm plowing through stuff and I'm not showing you the proper respect. People get mad at me when I don't show you love. Oh, I try to show you love. It's fine. I I'm just I'm just here for the ride. <laughs> Happy <Excuse> birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Was that you, Vic? What? Yeah, that was me. That was me. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Matt, do we have a Zoomer? You want a Zoomer? You got a Zoomer. Sarah. Sarah. Smile. Sarah S. Sarah, Sarah S. No we got to unmute. No time for losers. What are they saying in that song? Sarah. Hello. Hi, Sarah. God damn it. Oh, here's Jen. It's your sister <laughs> calling. It's fine. It's like five different shows going on. Jen, I'm, so, I'm sorry I mean, Jen. to be uh, the... Uh, you're supposed to call the Tim Heidecker show, okay, Jen? <laughs> Sarah, what's going on? Can, Can you help you me that? here? Can you bring me back um, down to earth? Well, okay, but you're going to have to go on YouTube. I'll, I'll, I'll send you a link to send her. Call Let's take brother. this offline. Call your brother. Three, two, three. Okay, bye. I Don't show. Bye. say her my bye. number. If, you, if okay. she calls Doug's number, it will not work. So okay. I'll, I'll send it's you a link. It's sister calling. Older. We got that. Am I sitting today? No, you're not. We're not even there yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never mind. Um, my boyfriend and I are coming from Philly to see you in Portland, actually. Um, so I guess my question for you was just like, what are some fun things that I should do in Portland while we're there? Pauline, you want to handle that? 
Um, yeah, you can uh, <clears throat> go on the set of Portlandia. No, no, no. And <laughs> uh, you could uh, have some your picture taken. I think, Doug, are you going to Port Portland? Yeah. Well, you could take some pictures with Doug. <laughs> and um, Are you going to both shows or, you want, uh, or just one of the shows? No, we wanted to go to both shows, but we only got tickets for Saturday, so. Okay. Like, yeah. um, well, we, can we add them? And when you're flying back, Sunday? No, we're staying for like a full week. We're oh coming God, in on Tuesday. Oh God, that's way too long. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> a week? <laughs> a week in Portland? <laughs> well, my friend's mom said that too. She no, was like, I you don't would, have to uh, I don't know. Like you should rent a bike. That's rent a, a great bike. thing to do in Portland. <laughs> and go eat some, there's great food there, great restaurants. Go look up best restaurants in Portland for under $20 a plate or something. I don't know. Go to that river, The, the what's where you, you drive a little bit out of town, the gorge there. Oh, right? Are there museums in Portland? Does anybody know? No, no, you don't want to go to a museum. I don't know. Why not? Why don't you want to go? To <laughs> I went to a museum when I was up Culture. in Toronto. Oh yeah. I couldn't have gotten out of there quicker. I just walked around, <laughs> what? looking at like they had a whole room that was like jewels and and uh, <laughs> gems and stuff. Uh, I'm looking at these jewels and gems. <laughs> Gives a shit. Right. <laughs> Look at like an old dinosaur bone. I hear you. It's uh, like, <laughs> though you know that what you're seeing. I guess it. I guess after 20 minutes, it's like, all right, well, you, old <laughs> furniture from the Ming Dynasty. You know, you're do like, you know those dinosaur cool. bones right. are actually just they're not the real dinosaur <laughs> bones. Know, they're the copies of it. That's fine. That's Dude, tough. here's the deal. Here's the deal, Jack. What if Biden at the at the uh, at the uh, what do you call it? The, no, at the State of the Union tonight, he comes oh, yeah, out and yeah. he goes, look, <laughs> look, I'm not kidding around. Here's the deal. Look, Earth is 6,000 years old. There's no dinosaurs. All right, Adam and Eve. Okay, Jack, look, here's the deal. Eve grabbed a damn apple from a damn snake. And that's, that was the end of it. Original sin, see? We realize you have all our institutions. <laughs> and that's like, that's all I got to say. Now, you know, you can look up, look it up in the Bible there, Jack. Yeah. Dumbass, man, right there in the top of the book. <laughs> Don't read the rest of the book, you creep. Doug. Get the hell out of here. Who are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> Who is he talking to? I don't no, know. No, 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 no. I think no, I'm no, 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 <laughs> What if that was a speech and like the people sort of like stand up? Look, I'm not kidding around. Earth is 6,000 years wait, old. Wait, 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 Jack. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, <laughs> Does she have a sister? Why can't you put the why can't you put like the uh, American flag and shit behind like as if I'm at the as if I'm at the damn uh -huh. okay. thing, right? And I'll do the whole thing. Weaving in the breeze. Look, wait, give me my uh, plate <laughs> reverb here. When is Doug and open his gifts? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the president of the United States of America. Wow, that's way too much. <laughs> Wait, Doug, why, why don't you be the, the sergeant of arms, sergeant at arms, who introduces the president? Ladies and gentlemen, your 46th president of the United States, <laughs> Joseph R. Biden. Boo! I don't. Boo! 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 I don't. Boo. Boo. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. Thank you, my fellow Americans. Look. <laughs> Look now, here's the deal. That's, uh, Bi that's Obama. Who gives a shit? Look, I'm not kidding around here. I'm not joking. This is a real deal. We're 6,000 years old, Jack. And Adam, come down. God, pull that goddamn bitch out of his rib. Right? And she went off and grabbed an apple and bit the shit out of it from some goddamn snake. That's why we're here. Uh, now look. And I said, he's Jimmy Stewart. Now look. Both PA boys. Y'all can shove an apple up your ass if all I care, I'm going back to bed. <laughs> yes, yes. Good night. Yes. yes. <laughs> Good night, you damn bastards. <laughs> dead, dead. That's dead, the whole speech. <laughs> Good night, you damn bastards. I'm going back to bed. All right. Hey, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> is that Jeremy Renner? <laughs> no. It sounds like Jeremy Renner. It is close. It's close. What if he has a Mitch McConnell moment tonight? <laughs> oh man, freeze! So. All right. Anyway, when in the doubt, city. I have a peanut. City party. of the day, <laughs> roll it out. Roll out the red carpet for the great city of the day. <laughs> 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 Cut. 
City of the Day, Doug, as you know all too well, is sponsored by Kevorkian Mode from Tesla. <laughs> Kevorkian Mode from Tesla. Are you a psychopathic CEO whose company is destroying planet Earth? A fraudulent narcissist on your way to prison? Or perhaps you're a billionaire whose insatiable greed is ruining the lives of millions? If you plead guilty to any of these questions, then Kevorkian Mode is for you. <laughs> Kevorkian Mode uses all 100 kilowatts of your Tesla battery to turn your car seat into an electric chair. <laughs> Plus, the autopilot mode will drive your corpse to the nearest morgue for easy disposal. Tesla even offers a home solar crematorium as part of the Kevorkian plaid package. Now your car can do more than just take you from point A to point Mom B. Mom likes it. You can go from life to heaven with the new Kevorkian mode from Tesla. Not legal in most states, only available on the 2024 Tesla Executioner model. <laughs> Talk to your Tesla dealer for details now. Get in the pit and mosh to this jingle. I don't want to drive anymore. I don't want to drive anymore. I don't want to drive anymore. So I will use Kevorkian mode. I don't want to try anymore. All right. I don't want to drive anymore. Anymore. Ouch. Wow. That ah, was that's really a great really one. Really good. People want the jingles. They want the comp, Doug. They want the compilation. And we have mm -hmm. to work on that. We got to get But it's never finished. To. Never finished. It's true. But you yeah. can do a volume one. The hell? Volume, volume one of many. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, let me take the city of the day. Who is the city of the day on this day? Smile it on. Hi, everybody. I'm here. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> We're, we're in Mason City, Iowa. Hey, get the hell out. Do you know I spent some time in Mason? Really? Wait, Mason City, Iowa? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I was talking uh, Mason, Ohio. Ah. <laughs> uh, Any chance you can get over there? I've never been there. All right. So Mason but Meredith City. Wilson, your uh, music man guy, is from here. My music man guy. <laughs> 76 <laughs> trombones and the big parade. 76. That's our and then, big. Uh, and then you got also, Vic, you got. There were bells all around, but I never heard them ringing. No, I never heard them at all. Till there was you. Doobie doobie doo. So, what, what kind of name is Meredith for a man? I mean, that's an odd name, huh? <laughs> it is a weird one. Is it, you call it Death for short? I guess he could. What I've doing? never met him. Where are you? What are you driving a UPS truck or something? I'm an I'm another mailman. Another mailman. Male <laughs> As opposed male to man. a female man. It's just another male <laughs> male person. <laughs> well, yeah, I think that's three regulars. Thank God, Weird, yeah, weird Al did right. never go to do a tax man parody. Go oh. ma mailman. <laughs> Uh, so that's gonna happen. Is that his view? Is that his Wait, view? Is this, wow, this is just B-roll of uh, oh, Mason look at it. <laughs> <B -roll. laughs> It's the first oh, person that's shooter beautiful. game. It looks nice. Where the hell is that? Oh, downtown. You know what right I got into? Plaza. You know I don't like video games, right? But I sometimes mm -hmm. get a hankering for them. Sort of like a sweet treat. <laughs> John Dillinger shot up that bank they just showed. Oh, I man. Know. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. <laughs> you don't have to tell me. Yeah, that's a Frank Lloyd Wright building. <laughs> oh, for real? That one? That That's not a very no, nice looking building. That's the bank. <laughs> that's that's the worst. bank. Oh, it's this is Frank Lloyd Wright's worst building. <laughs> Who's this? Uh, it's the last remaining hotel that you can actually stay in of his. Yeah, let's see if they wow. want What is that oh, rabbit? Look at the rabbit. Oh, I don't know. That's oh, that's some of the weird Who is that? sculptures downtown. This wow. is so distracting. Man. Yeah, I'm getting sick. <laughs> like the up and down. You, you know what I got? I got kind of, well, here's my game, my video game news. 
I got kind of a, I was like, I had a hankering to do a flight simulator. Oh, yeah. You ever do one of those? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Try to That's get, like, the game you want to play? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're very relaxing. You, you, Once you're up in the air, you're fine. Mm. Yeah, it's on my iPad. Oh, like I'm a just fighter like jet. Trying to, mm. No, it's just a, it was like a little um, Cessna. And you're just trying to keep oh, yeah, it level. Be nice. I play Mailman Simulator. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they exist. Are you happy with your choice being a mailman? I think there's part of me that would love to be a mailman. Well, it's funny. I wanted to dispel some myths you guys have propagated uh, on. Well, Vic mostly. Yeah, uh -oh. Vic is Vic bad. Has a lot Vic's of bad ideas. news. Oh no. <laughs> are mailmen allowed? To, I don't mind it. Are mailmen allowed to like look all cool like you? Yeah, there's I feel no like drama. I'm a rural mailman. You don't really have so a, don't have a, have a, a uniform. uniform that I'm used to. I know. Look at that. That's a cool shirt. You can just wear what you yeah. want. I don't have to wear a uniform. Okay, just spell the myth. I'm sorry to cut you off. Oh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Give us three myths. Three myths, and then we have to move on. Myth. Dispelling. Begin. Uh, I just lost. I can't hear anything now for some reason. All oh. right. Bye-bye. We'll catch oh, up with you later. Man. Oh, I want to hear about this myth. Listen, do I? Of Best course call I of the hear. day. It craps out. Best call of the day was that science teacher with the general oh, that's true. That is a Sorry, guys. Call Harvey. Call Bonnie, bitch. All right, bye, buddy. Safe travels out there. Thank you for delivering our mail. <laughs> I, this, uh, these uh, sickos on the other side of the aisle, they want to get rid of the, the U.S. post what office, you know? Your Trump, he wants to probably privatize Let's it. Make it all FedEx. Yeah, make, and then charge you, charge, you through the, <laughs> charge you through the nose, charge you out the wazoo. Just to get a simple piece of mail from your Grammy. Uh -huh. <laughs> $40 for, what the hell? Yeah, ever since they privatized the mail. That's sick. Right. Yeah, it's sick. And then poor people in the, in the rural areas, they're not going to get their mail mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. This Trump's got to go. I guess, though, he doesn't have much longer to live, they said. They said he's got some kind of terminal brain uh, oh, no, disease. That's Biden. Biden. No. Biden. Well, he might, he might have that, too, but it's a race before which, which a bacteria eats the brain quicker. We have to keep our country gate prepared. Yeah. Prepared. All right. Uh, Matt, do you want to take a hothead hotliner? I'd love to. Yeah. It's full right. today. Oh, yeah. shit. By the way, ah. by the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Moving on. New Jersey Janet. Joanna, Stern, jo Joanna Sternberg, who was in here last week. Ah. Matt and I went to see them uh, Friday night. What Tremendous a delight. show. What, what a delight. Uh, I am so chuffed, as the Brits say, to be able to experience new artists that I fall in love with, um, who, by the way, after the show, we were outside with Joanna, um, they were like, man, I love that red bar. They're all in a red bar. I don't know if that's... Everybody loves red bar. And... Yeah. Both, both Joanna's, are both are Joanna's a big comedy yeah. head, it seems. She yeah. knew everything. Yeah. Well, they knew everything. They, yeah. I knew. But um, anyhow... Uh, they mentioned that... Uh, I took Millie yeah. to the show. She loved it. She was so excited. Yes, who's on the hotline? You've got to do something about your sound, my friend. Wow. New Jersey Jenna, you're live on the air. 201? It's Idris. It's Idris? What? All right. All right, not working. Okay, let's, let's talk to uh, getting notes from Peter. the Zoom chat. Say, drop this guy. <laughs> All right, we got to stop. Oh, it's 219. Peter, you're Pizza. live on the air. Hey, what's up, Tim? Hey, man, uh, what's long going time, on? Long time fan of the program. Uh, happy birthday, Doug. Thank you. Uh, so my question, I guess my first question, um, I haven't been able to watch the show in a while, so I just got back into it. Uh, is City of the Day, didn't we used to guess what it was? Never. Wasn't it like, no? I don't it's a think Berenstein so. Bear situation. Yeah, Mandela effect. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh. And asked and answered. Wrong. <laughs> there was a pattern. He oh, waited to ask that I know. Question. Let's take another hotline. Let's rip through the hotline. Let's yeah, clear, let's the lines, lines. Lines. clear the lines. Clear the lines. All right. Uh, 909, Ryan. By the way, I see something. By hey. the way, <laughs> I see something in the in the in the Zoom room. Brian, are you there? Yes, I'm here. It's Ryan with an R. Oh, whatever. Green. What are you, Ryan Air? I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. Please what are you, Ryan Air, the Please. the official airline of Ireland? <laughs> Son of a bear. <laughs> All right. Well, so so happy birthday to Doug. I've seen Thank Tim you. live. I've seen 
Ty Siegel Live. You guys are so important to me in my life. I thank you so much. And uh, um, thank you. Yeah, what I had to say was uh, when I saw you live, oh, dang, I got a dog barking. Um, it's fine. Get through it. Uh, you got push this. through. Push through. Push we, through. We, we, dogs exist in the world. We right. can get it. We push get it. Through. All right. Are we cool? I can calm down. Yep. I don't have to worry about getting cut off. Nope. Go. <laughs> okay. All right. It's so it's a pleasure to talk to you guys. And I'm a musician. And uh, I actually had a gig last year at the comedy store with uh, Don Barris. And yeah, yeah. didn't have a chance to go back because I didn't have a ride back there. And then, you know, was just completely, you know, not able to, you know, play again. And so uh, I, I really don't. I'm kind of flabbergasted that I'm able to be on the line with you guys. So, oh, well, did you, what do you play? What kind I of music do you play? Did, 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 did. I wanted to ask so oh, yes. when, when Ty Segal gets back on the show, I wanted to ask what finger on it means when he was singing that song with a baby head mm. and at Coachella. Well, I'm like, afraid you know, wait, I have an, some, uh, some news about that. I'm afraid we're not going to get to the bottom of that one. Because one of the condi the the condition for Ty Siegel to perform on the show today is a little unusual. Um, the issue, what, excuse me, thank you. Well, you know what you can do is you can do one of these classic. We should start encouraging this, and I'll take my answer off the air. <laughs> <laughs> I guess NPR. Thank you, and I'll take my answer off the air. Right? Can you say that? All right, I can take my answer off the air. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> You're kidding. Wow. Here's the deal. Jack. For All Ty right. Siegel to, yes, for a Ty Siegel to agree to do the show, uh, we had to agree to a few things. One was that uh, he would, uh, of course, perform a new song, which we're happy to hear. Second is that um, I can ask him a total of five questions. I think that's the number we negotiated. We started at 10. He, started, he came in with three, and we got to five. God bless. And the oh, questions good. must be only be, have to be phrased in such that he can answer either yes or no. Okay, it's not the way I want to do it. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. he, he, I guess there's something with his vocal. Yes. He doesn't want to talk. He's you know, got a lot. Of, he's got a big tour coming. Yeah. Up. A big tour, and we're like happy that. to promote it. He's a tremendous artist and a great musician. Ty-Siegel.com. And we're here to promote him, but he is very strict about how he's he wants to handle the media, uh, the uh, publicity and the and the personal questions and these kind of things. So he really and I respect that because listen, sometimes people come on here and they they don't know what to expect. He did his research. He knows the kind of questions I can get into. No. He knows he wants to control the environment as much as he possibly can, and I give him all due respect to do that. Okay, mm -hmm. so that is not one of the questions that we had agreed upon. <laughs> friend about this baby's head or whatever at Coachella and frankly I'm not interested in it anyway but you know what I saw Matt real quickly Catherine thanks I think Catherine St. St. Paul is it oh our one? old friend Catherine yeah, she's yeah. drinking out of one of these uh, big mugs that everyone Stanley drinks. mug a Stanley mug oh she's got a Stanley mug. are you drinking out of a damn Stanley mug I didn't get to the bottom of this stupid mug that I see everywhere Catherine do you care to share <laughs> oh, did she throw it away? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Where'd you go, Catherine? She went hiding. She's, She's refusing hiding to unmute. Oh. Looks like VB3 is back. There though. we go. Oh. Maybe he knows about Stanley mugs. He might know a lot about camping mugs. Maybe one of these presents my mom got me is a Stanley mug. Victor. <laughs> Stanley mug. Victor third. Victor the third. What is your? Uh, what mug do you use when you're drinking, trying to get hydrated? It's definitely a Stanley mug. Mm. Let me see it. I'm at the thrift, thrift store for uh, two dollars. Wow! Somebody was telling me they got what lead in those those thing those tumble whatever they are. They probably do. It's How from you, the how's... old steel. It's from the old steel company. <laughs> <laughs> now oh you gotta Lord. watch that lead. <laughs> would would you with the burgers and the loosen hops? Do you think you guys would ever do like a time show, like spend some time together in a cabin or do any kind of vacationing together? Do you ever see that happening? No. No. 
I would laugh too much. Pauline's too funny. Oh, listen oh, to that. Look at you. Are you flirting with Pauline? Is. You better wow. be careful. Wow. You got Gary Lusenhoff in there ready to bust your ass. Don't stop now. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> He's getting into it. <laughs> Gary, that's your cue to say, uh, take my wife, please. I already thought I did. <laughs> he said, don't uh, stop he now. Did. Okay. Yes, he yeah. did. I can see Hi, a little Gary. wife swapping going on between the loosen hops and the burgers. Easy. Okay. Thanks for coming. Right. I always wanted a brother. Dad, dad. <laughs> <laughs> what, dad when we were talking about medals and stuff, when, when I was a kid growing up and I would cut myself, what would you put on my cut? Mercurochrome. There well, it I is, Mercurochrome at that time. Yeah. It was yeah. what? At that time, like it was in the 1800s. <laughs> it was Mercurochrome. Mercurochrome. Mercury. It had mercury in it. That's why. That's what. That, that explains, explains a lot of things explains. about Mick. All right, but you well, used it a lot longer than I did. You used it when you were a kid, right? Yeah, I guess. Hey, Dad, Dad what did you put hey, on my you know cut? What? <laughs> Aftershave lotion. That's right. Aftershave. Oh, that, sounds just, that sounds like torture. Okay. Like canoe. Uh -huh. All right, wait. Every time. Hang on. English leather. <laughs> All right. You didn't know uh, Vic went out for gymnastics when he was little, too. I did, actually. <laughs> can I yeah, make a problem, though? First performance, he couldn't look straight ahead. His uh, shorts were too tight. He kept pulling them down <laughs> out of his butt crack. <laughs> well, the product that was of my a, environment. That was the last year for that. <laughs> All right, thank you, Victor the Third. Turn on your damn uh, uh, fan next time you come on my show, okay? I can't look at that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Come on. I, I'm pretty sure I'm fast asleep right now in my bed, and this is some kind of weird dream. I'm going to open one of these presents Let's because... Do it, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah he's wait, wait, hey, t t time out for one sec, because we got to bring Ty in. Well, we got to open some... Pre Why doesn't okay. Ty come but in? But can I do one off? plug, and this is, not a, this is a totally selfless plug. I haven't been asked to do this, it's totally out of my own volition, but I was looking at Instagram today, and this uh, Robbie Hoffman, uh, who is a comedian, hilarious, I was watching uh, her special on from a couple years, I don't know, and I saw, I started following her, and she's coming to the Soho Theater in London for like a week, and I did that show, those shows with Neil Hamburger six or so years ago, and it's a great place, and she was making me laugh because they got, uh, her ticket sales aren't good. It's like 50%. You know, you see this, the sales? True. I said, oh, well, no. you know what, I'm going to promote. So if my audience, you're going to love it at the Soho Theater, Robbie Hoffman. And I think Rachel Callie, our friend Rachel Callie's on the show too. I believe she's opening, She's right? opening. So it, I don't know how anyone's going to miss that. You're going to buy a ticket, Tim? Big ticket. I'm not going to buy a ticket because it's in London. What are you going to do? Oh, I thought you were going to be when you are there. No, I'm just telling, oh. this is out of my good, great, out of my good heart, I'm saying... If you want to, because I've been shitting on so much comedy lately. Everyone says I hate comedy. I'm trying to cancel everybody. How about the fact that there's actually good people out there? Is Michael Rappaport doing comedy? True. <laughs> Do you see that? <laughs> Holy True. shit. <laughs> Guys, these people have to be institutionalized. But anyway. Hey, you wanna... Let's give... Tie a second to get settled and let yes. us open this gonna do? We're gonna Robbie open Hoffman, uh, I don't know if she knows who I am. I don't know if she knows if I exist. We gotta get her on she the show. She does. We, we're we're, we're okay, gonna but uh, very funny and go see her in London. That's all I wanted to say. You have a present. Tons of lots well, of maybe fun. maybe you should stick around for the second half and then we could open them. But how about one now? I mean, she gave me like five of them here. Here's the the potty <sighs> putter toilet. Oh Christ! Uh, this is pretty cool. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, oh my God! That is. A I'm gonna waste. set this up in the uh, yeah, yeah. In, in the, the toilet in the loo up there. there. <laughs> That'll be on the earth forever. Uh -huh. Here we go. Where's that made, Pauline? Uh, what country? Uh, what country do you think assembles that? Uh, Taiwan. <laughs> I got some presents for you guys while I was, you know, on my trip. And <laughs> oh. I hope it's that Led Zeppelin album. Well, Tim, if you ever presents, if you ever we did need that a new before. idea, <laughs> I got you a new idea. <laughs> <laughs> What well, should be called a magazine there, mate? I don't know. New and, idea? Uh, for Vic, I got a new idea. Let's do a magazine. <laughs> for Vic, I got you some frogs alive. Oh, I love that. I love that. Thank you. Oh. Beautiful. Wow. Well, look at it. It's a new idea. And for Ty, I got you some randoms. But, you know, I'll, you don't have to say anything. I, I understand that. All right. I understand our agreement. But Are we ready for a musical thing. act? I need to know from our production team. What about me? I didn't get a present. Of course, of course. I got you some Tim Tams. Oh, thanks. Yeah. And these are the uh, fingers. These are Beautiful. different than your classic. I love a Tim Tam. And I also got uh, 
We'll try. By the way, by the way, you can get Tim Tens anywhere nowadays. Mom, I got you a who. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> You're making these up? <laughs> who? Who? Who's the magazine for? I don't know. Make it? Make <laughs> name it who? In fact, pass those over. <laughs> New idea. <laughs> <laughs> it landed right there. That's amazing. I love this magazine. True. They still give a shit about King Charles. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Listen, folks. You know him, you love him. He's going to play a song from his new album. Matt, what's the name of the album? I don't have it in my notes. I don't remember. I don't. I, this. I, I haven't memorized today's episode. Three bells, Three bells on tour all over the world, starting very soon. Ty-Seagull.com. We're gonna and stick around. Stick around after the break. We're going to ask the five questions like they used to do on the Daily Show. Remember that back in the day, the that. Daily Show. Mm -hmm. And the moment of Zen. Moment of Zen. <laughs> Uh, having so much fun here on Office Hours. Join us at patreon.com slash officehourslive to support the show. We require your support. We demand it, in fact. Uh, people are so afraid to join the new service, but Patreon is tried and true, trusted, a great service. We appreciate everything they do. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to Office Hours for the first time, Mr. Ty Siegel. <laughs> Hello.
Thank you very much and good night.